All right, folks, here we go. High Point and Sport are two former SCIL teams in the diamond at High Point High School. Bottom first to go. High Point's Jared Muselli with the base hit. Still in the bottom half of the first. Carl Harvey, the starting pitcher for High Point, with the RBI base hit. And High Point jumps out to a one of the lead over Sparta. Still in the bottom half of the first. It's more High Point offense. Brent Fundle delivers with the RBI double. Make it 2 nothing High Point over Sparta. This inning is capped off in a big way for High Point. Austin Caldwell gets all that pitch, a three-run shot. And High Point now enjoys a 5-0 lead after one inning over Sparta. Let's move ahead to the top half of the fourth inning. Sparta catcher Zach Passarelli showing why he is one of the top hitters in the area with a triple. Alex Lesh brings in the run for Sparta with a fielder's choice. Sparta is on the board. They now trail High Point by a count of 5-1. to one. High Point pitcher Carl Harvey avoids further damage with a strikeout to end the inning. Bottom four we go. Joe Drossel of High Point with the RBI base hit. And High Point ups the lead to 7-1 to one over Sparta. Still in the bottom half of the fourth. Jared Muselli with the infield hit. That will score another run for High Point. They're up eight to one. Carl Harvey doing it on the mound at the plate as well. He had a big day for High Point. Here he is with the RBI base hit to make it nine to one High Point over Sparta. Brett Fundell's making a lot of highlights for the Wildcats. Here he is again. He makes it 10 to one High Point after four innings. Let's go to the bottom half of the fifth. High Point looking to put this game away in 10 run rule Sparta. Joe Drossel on the highlights again with the RBI base hit for High Point. Top of the sixth, High Point's Carl Harvey with the K. He's cruising on the hill. Bottom half of the sixth, Carl Harvey puts his game away at the plate with the RBI double. High Point 10 run rules Sparta. The final score at High Point, 12 to two. A big win for the High Point Wildcats. We came together as a team today, definitely showed that we can definitely hit, we can do everything, and I think we're going to do good from now on. Well, I thought the boys did a real nice job. They, uh, you know, Sparta's always a quality team with quality pitchers, and we were able to, to make pretty good contact and make the ball jump, and, you know, it, it was fun. It was fortunate. One game doesn't make a season, but we're pretty happy with what, what happened today. High Points offense came to play in this game right out of the gate, scoring five runs in the first inning. Earlier in practice before the game, uh, we all concentrated on how much we needed to hit. Uh, we really needed to get at these guys because we know Sparta's a good team, so we just had to get at them early. That's the name of the game. you got to make contact, especially with a team you know that can, can hit the ball real well. you know, you got to come out and put some runs on the board. The first was capped off by Austin Caldwell's three-run shot. Got me 0-2. I knew that uh, I just had to make good contact. Just swung hard and uh, drove it pretty hard. Carl Harvey was brilliant on the hill for high point, limiting Sparta to just three hits in his victory. I think I did all right, but I really do want to uh, keep the walks and hit batters down. So maybe next time I'll do a little bit better. That's spectacular. He always comes out good. He's our senior leader, and uh, I mean, he comes out good every pitch and throws good strikes, quality strikes. I mean, it's all you can ask for a kid. It's only his second outing, you know, uh, and he's our only, you know, he's our only returning senior. So we look for him for leadership. And, you know, when we play a good team like that, you know, I want him to come forward and, and, and kind of lead. And I thought he did a nice job of it today. High Point has a busy week coming up. We've got everybody the rest of the week. We've got Walkill tomorrow, Vernon the next day, Randolph the next day, and Montville the next day. So it's not going to be a, a good week for you guys. No, spawn and sane and hope for rain, that's what we're doing. 